So we have a young cedar elm here, and this is one of the issues that is pretty commonly overlooked when we're talking about tree uh, pruning and overall longevity and health of this tree. This is called a co-dominant stem. And what's going on here is this tree has two equal size trunks and where they meet right here is actually a potential weak spot. As this tree gets larger, the chance for failure at this point increases because the, the weight is distributed incorrectly and it has the chance of peeling down here in the middle. So the way that we fix this is we do what's called structural pruning. So the way that we're gonna fix this young cedar elm here is by subordinating one of these two trunk pieces. What that will do is it will let the tree take over and establish a strong central singular growing point and you'll get that typical single straight trunk with branching coming off of it. So what we're gonna end up doing is on this piece here, we're gonna do some reduction cuts up in the canopy and we're gonna take off about 25% of this particular limb in this one pruning cycle this time because that with this tree we can get away with it. On larger trees we have to work that process over a couple years sometimes where we take off 25% here, 25% the next time. On this particular tree with just a few cuts we're gonna be able to almost establish that central lead. And then as the tree grows, it will take over and this will become much larger trunk piece than this. The tree will regulate itself and this will take over as a central growing point. And this one will just kind of stay this size as this one gets much larger. So what we're gonna do is on this piece here, up in the canopy, we're gonna make a cut that's about 25, 30% of this particular limb. So when we make our cuts up here, what we look for is how to, for one, correct in the long run and establish that central lead, but also leave as much green material as we can so we don't affect the overall plant health. This particular tree is gonna be fairly easy to fix with one fairly sizable cut because of the branch structure is pretty even on this piece already. So we got pretty lucky in this case. A lot of times it takes multiple small cuts up in the canopy to establish that central leader. On, in this particular tree's case, basically one sizable cut will pretty much fix it because the rest of the branching that we're gonna leave is pretty evenly distributed throughout the tree. So one of the things that we run across all the time is over pruning, and that's taking out too much material from the interior of a tree typically. We typically see that because that's the easiest thing to get to, is you can just reach up there and strip out the middle, and then it's opened up and everybody thinks, oh, it looks great. Well, the proper pruning is removing what's needed to meet the pruning objective while leaving as much green healthy tissue as possible in the canopy. So we're gonna make our pruning cut to fix this structural issue approximately right here on this particular limb. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow the remaining side, the one without my pruning pole, to take over and be the central dominant lead of this tree. You can see how nice and straight that is. There's already a limb right next to where we're gonna make our cut. And there's another limb right here that will help visually keep this tree as full as possible, but correct the structural issue that we're having with this guy. Thank you for watching this video on structural pruning and what to look for. If you have any questions or if you would like us to come out to your property, go to treenewell.com and ask myself or any of our other certified arborists.